Hello everyone, this is Ragnarok and welcome to episode 7 of House of Hogwarts in Minecraft. And as you can see behind me, we do have the beginnings of the East Wing. And my gosh, it is looking spectacular. And of course, the mighty Ravenclaw Tower, which we will be completing this episode. However, before we start the episode, I'd like to give a small, quick update on my main Hogwarts map. And so, as you can see from the pictures on the screen, I have been working on the Great Hall and the Viaduct area, and it just looks so much better and more accurate, and I am just so happy with how it has turned out. And of course, if you do want updates on my main Hogwarts map, I will be posting the occasional video and including it in these episodes. However, if you do want core cool updates of the main Hogwarts map, there will be progress and announcements and sneak peeks in my Discord server, which is linked in the description. However, without further ado, I think it's time we get straight in. And so for the roof, obviously we are going to need our usual roof blocks. So of course, dark oak planks and some dark oak fences and of course a stone brick wall and perhaps an anvil if you do want it. And so to start off the roof, we are going to build a 6x5 rectangle in this area, starting here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this needs to be 6 blocks up. So there's one there, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And of course, just fill this in along here to create this 6x5 rectangle, just like so. And that should look like that. And then, on top of it, you're going to build a 2x3 small rectangle just on there, just to kind of finish off this kind of look. And then in this area behind, you're going to build a three by five area. So one, two, three, four, five, and then two more blocks up. So create this three by three rectangle. And of course, on top, we're gonna to build a three by three square. And that should look just like so. And then behind this, we will build a four by five square. So one, two, three, four, five, and then five blocks up. So one, two, three, four, five, just like this. And this will go up in a four by five square. And then, just as usual on top, we will build a 2x3 rectangle, just like so. And then behind here, we'll have a 3x5 rectangle, so 1, 2, 3, like that, and then just behind here, 5, and just fill in a rectangle just like that. The top layer should be peaking above here. And then on top, a 3x3 square, and then to cap off this square, a 1 block on the top. And then on top of that, we will build a 4x3 square. Uh, rectangle so three there one two three four just like so and then three blocks on top just to round that off and then what you can do is place some fences all along here and then place one two three fences on top just like that and then coming in one more block you'll come up one two three four five blocks and then place your stone brick wall and then dark oak fence and then an anvil if you want it and then another dark oak fence just on top. And that will basically be one of the sides. And so this should be in the center of your tower. So it should be in line with this point, this point, this point, and of course down there as well. And so then what you need to do is just repeat this onto all four sides. And so I'm going to walk through it once more and then it's up to you to complete the other two sides. And so again, we're gonna start off with a five by six rectangle. So one, two, three, four, five, and then build up another five more blocks on this block to create a five by six rectangle. So one, two, three, four, five, and then just fill in these gaps along here, just like so. And then on top of that, you will be building a two by three rectangle. And then behind, you are going to build on a three by five rectangle, just like this. So this is going to be five blocks along here and the three blocks down. Of course, the top block should be one block above this kind of two by three rectangle right here. And then on top of here, we are going to build a three by three square and that should look just like so. And then behind here, we are going to build a five by four rectangle. So this is one to start the bottom layer around here. So this is should be five blocks. And then top of here, you're going to put up four more blocks. So one, two, three, four, and then build this up in here, just to fill this in, just like so. And I may have said a four by five um, for this one. However, this should be a five by five along here. I apologize if I did say that wrong the first time. However, these should just be identical. So whatever you did for this one, just build this the same as this side over here. And then on top of this five by five spruce kind of square, we're going to build a two by three rectangle just like so. 
and then behind here we have a 3x5 rectangle. However, you will notice we've already built one part of it since they are now getting close together that each side is now touching. So we just need to fill in this along here just to fill in this rectangle just like that. And then on top of here there will be a 3x3 square of course a one block on top. And then we can go ahead and just basically just repeat everything along here and that should go all the way to the top just like so. Of course there are the gaps down here and we will address those once we have now completed this entire area. And so now it is up to you to complete the other two sides. And that should look just like that with all four of these sides basically looking exactly the same. And then we can go ahead and continue down into these depths down here. And so if we look there is kind of an L shape in between these two sides and so what we are going to do is build up this L shape until it is one block below these gaps here and then we can go ahead and just fill in the gap here and then in this area we can just go ahead and build this until it is the same height as these blocks here and then what you can do since this looks rather flat you can go ahead and grab yourself a dark oak slab and just place that there ideally i would use some walls in here just like this since they kind of do add more to the shape the fences just don't look particularly good and of course there are no walls for wood i wish there were but there's just not that in the game so far and so that will just have to look like that and so again we will come down into this area and we'll see that it is kind of l shape in between and we will build this up until it's one block below this ledge here and of course go in here and just fill in this gap here and then build this up until it is the same height and then you can place a dark oak slab and then we'll repeat that for these other two sides so of course the l shape this will come up to one block below here and then fill in these gaps just like so and then this will come up until it reaches this area here and then I place a dark oak slab and of course I am going quicker as I go since well we've already built this three times now by now so it should be hard ingrained in your brain by now and if it's not well we've already built it three times so you can just go back and look at what you've already built and that will look just like that and that is the main roof of the central tower now finished and I think it looks really really good on accuracy terms it is not perfect so as you can see if you compare this to a picture we can see that the two turrets on each side they are slightly too big which means these kind of top two triangle roofs they are too big as well however that's kind of a sacrifice I chose to make since we can properly fit a spiral staircase in here is what I did for the main interior on my main map and this will be how we'll be doing half um, Ravenclaw common room however if we do make them the size they are at this scale which is approximately one to one they will be just far too small to fit anything in and so I think it's kind of a nice kind of middle ground and then of course the roof, well it is kind of round I must admit, however that's from a technical point of view and I, to be honest I just think it looks fine as it is. And so the next thing we need to do is to add this small kind of window that does come out on the roof. So we'll go ahead and grab ourselves some cut sandstone and again we'll grab ourselves some dark oak stairs and some dark oak planks and a dark oak slab. And so what we'll do is we'll go up this one tier and they will go up this tier and then on the third tier this is where we're going to start our window so what we're going to do is just punch in replace these top three blocks with those three cut sandstone blocks just there and that will be at that height there so again the first layer the second layer and the third layer is where we're replacing these blocks and so what we will do is we'll actually replace this block with a cut sandstone slab and just place that right there and then we'll go up two blocks just like so and place another cut sandstone slab just in there and you can go ahead and replace these blocks in here with cut sandstone just to kind of complete the look of the area just like so just so that there are blocks here and then in this area you can go ahead and grab yourself some smooth sandstone slabs and place these in there to kind of add this kind of grilled look that the towers do kind of have especially the bell towers which we'll be building in a later episode and then on top you'll place some dark oak stairs just like so and then a dark oak plank and then another dark oak stair just like that obviously this is a rather simple design however i think it 
does just about do the trick. And then an optional choice if, is if you do want to kind of thin it off, you can replace these blocks here with sandstone walls. And I rather, I do quite like this look, and so that is what I'm going to be sticking with for this tutorial. And then of course, we are going to have to do this onto all four sides, since obviously this tower is completely symmetrical. So what we do is actually just replace these with cut with sandstone walls, and in the blocks behind them, replace them with cut sandstone, just like this. And of course, you can go ahead and smash anything in here. And of course, just replace it with, with these smooth stone slabs, just to kind of create this kind of grilled look that it does have. And then of course, the roof on behind, which will look just like so. And then third time, just for luck, is what you'll do is of course, break these, and you can place a sandstone slab there and just replace the three blocks behind just like so and then just place the three sandstone walls just there smash these three blocks and then place a cut sandstone slab just there and as you can see we'll place in our lovely grills just down here just like so and then of course our roof which is two dark oak stairs just like so and then two dark oak planks. And then of course, you repeat this onto the fourth side. Quick note, just to remove this kind of look right here, you might wanna go ahead and actually add one more plank onto here, just to make them look like they are separate and not connected, and that will look just like that, and that will be the Ravenclaw Tower now complete. Obviously, we will be doing the, um, the interior as a separate video once the entire castle is complete, so make sure to stick around for when that is done. And since this roof did take much quicker than I expected, I think we can get started onto the long gallery. So we have now basically completed the front section of the of the Durham section, and we can move down into the long gallery, which is this area over here. And it will look like this once it is complete. And as you can see, it does compare very, very similar to Durham Cathedral. The reason it is is because it is Durham Cathedral. You can see the resemblance, there is the main tower over here, and of course the two bell towers which are going to be at the back. Some quick background info on the bell, on the central tower and the bell towers is, in the first two movies, they were shown as rather round, especially the central tower. It was round and was much more magical in my opinion. And then of course, these two bell towers, they had much shallower roofs as they do in this later model. However, with the third film, Prince of Azkaban, with the director Alfonso, Obviously, it had a very gothic style at the castle. All of the roofs got significantly steeper. The central tower got completely re redesigned to this new kind of square shape with a much more gothic, steep towers and roofs. And of course, the two bell towers did have a blank makeover at the back. And as you can see, they did change from those flat roofs to much, much steeper. And in my opinion, I do prefer the new bell towers. However, I think we did lose a bit of that magical sense of the central tower. However, I'm still very happy with how it does look. And um, what do you guys think of this extra knowledge of Hogwarts? I think it's quite interesting. It's just what I've learned while I've been building it. And so if you do want more, just like that down in the comments. And of course, there is my Discord server, which is full of people building Hogwarts, and it's a really fun place. However, I think it is now time we stop talking about Hogwarts design and move on to this long gallery section over here. And so the first thing we're going to do is build a 2x16 tri uh, rectangle in this in these two blocks right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And you'll notice this ends just one block higher than these smooth sandstone stairs just right there. And then we will place two sandstone stairs just like that. And then we will come in one block actually, this current is kind of tooth wide, cozy area, and we'll just go up two more blocks to create kind of two by three kind of rectangle just like that. And then onto this side, we'll build up another 16 blocks until we do reach the same height as this area here. And what we can do is just finish this off just like so and build in our sandstone stairs just across. And then just above this two by three rectangle, we can build in a beam just like this. And then grabbing ourselves some smooth sandstone stairs, what we can do is just build in a kind of archway just like that. And if you do want to add kind of some more texture, what you can do is replace these blocks here with either sandstone or smooth sandstone, just kind of add a kind of little bit of variation. And I think it does look rather nice with smooth sandstone. And then in this area, this is going to be one of our main windows, and this is a 2x4 window. So obviously you can go ahead and grab ourselves some black stained glass, I already had it in my inventory, my bad. And we'll just go in one block, just like so, and build up another three more blocks. So one, 
two, three to create this two by four window. And actually it is five by four, so we've built another line of blocks. So this is going to be two by five, just like so. And of course, round this off with another archway, just using your smooth sandstone stairs, just like that. And then as well this, you will build up three more blocks, just like so, to leave this perfect three by two gap, which is our final window on this section. And then of course we'll round it off with some archways. And you will notice it is slightly smaller than this window. That is completely intentional and that is kind of correct to the Durham design. And then in this area we can act we actually do come out two blocks this time. And on top of here you will build up 11 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, just like this. And right here we'll place two smooth sandstone stairs. And if we grab ourselves some sandstone slabs, we can go ahead and build just a line just like that there, and another line just like that along here, just there, just to add some kind of more depth to the build. And then in this area here, we can grab ourselves some sandstone walls and just place them along until we come up to the top, and of course, cap it off with some smooth sandstone stairs. And this just kind of adds some more kind of texture, which is kind of accurate to the kind of Durham section over here. Um, it's just kind of how I've created the texture over here and obviously behind it you can really place whatever you want Just to make sure none of these gaps are peaking any air and that will look just like that And you will notice along the entire area there are seven of these windows All we need to do is repeat this along all the way and so obviously that is going to mean we are going to build this entire area up again So again come up 16 more blocks. So one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, until you are the same height as everything you built already. And then, leaving a two block gap, of course this gap is going to be for the window area, you'll go up another 16 blocks, just like so. And then of course, cap it off with a bar, and of course some smooth sandstone stairs, just on top, just like so. And then obviously we can go ahead and add in this kind of archway along here. So leave a three by two gap and on the fourth block place some cut sandstone. And then behind obviously you can fill it in with pretty whatever block you want. However in this tutorial I am going to be going with smooth sandstone. Since well it does differ to the cut sandstone it does kind of add that kind of variety. And I rather like it. And so just obviously cap that off with an archway of smooth sandstone stairs. And then you can go ahead and just fill in this sunstone slab line. And then in here we have our five by two window. So you'll go in one block and then go two, three, four, five. This window should obviously be identical to this area. And then of course cap it off with some cut sandstone and go up two more blocks. So this area should be a two by three rectangle. And then of course you can go ahead and cap this one off with some smooth sandstone stairs as usual. And then the final window should leave a two by three gap just in here. So you can go ahead and fill this in with some black stained glass and smash in some smooth sandstone stairs just like that to add the archway. And then of course you can go ahead and add in this line of, of, of sandstone slabs. And then of course we do have this kind of bit where it does stick out. And obviously this does go up 11 more blocks on top of here. So this is one and then 11 blocks on top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11. And of course, top this off with some smooth sandstone stairs. And then behind, we'll obviously have our sandstone walls in line with the wall, just like so. And of course, it should show some air, so we can go ahead and smash in some smooth sandstone just behind just to fill in all of these gaps. And of course, finish it off with some smooth sandstone stairs. And that will look just like that. And so what we are going to need to do is repeat this five more times until we come in length with this bell tower. And so there should be seven windows in total and it should be completely symmetrical. So on the seventh window, there will not be one of these. It will be similar to this and it'll just go straight into the bell towers. And so what we can do is you can go ahead and lay this out and then obviously you can go ahead and just repeat this all along. However, I am just gonna lay it out so you guys do not get confused. And so, obviously right here we have our archway just along here, just that will go right there, and then it will go out two blocks just like so, so you can go ahead and build that up. Obviously this is identical to this, and then of course another one of these archways, so four blocks, and then two gap, and then four blocks, and of course cap it off, and then come out two blocks, 
and just build along just like that. Of course, identical to the ones we've already built. And then another archway in here, just like that with a two by three rectangle in here. And of course, another one of these two by one areas that do come out. And then our sixth archway, which is along here, just like that. Again, the same as everything else we've already built. And then another one of these sticky outy bits. And then our seventh and final archway, which ends perfectly right here where we start the bell towers in a later episode. So just repeat what you've done along this kind of frame we just did and that will be this area of the long gallery now done. This lines us up very perfectly for episode 7 where we will continue the long gallery which we will build this roof and of course this kind of section along here which is another corridor very similar to these areas already coming out on all three of the sides of the central tower and so obviously we will need another one of these areas coming out just along here. And then after that, I plan to start the bell towers and that will start to look very, very cool. And so I would like to thank you guys very much for watching episode 7 of How to Build Hogwarts in Minecraft. If you did enjoy the video and you are enjoying building Hogwarts and if you're not already subscribed, I recommend subscribing. It really does help out the channel and you guys will never miss another upload. And of course, if you did get stuck anywhere in the video, please make sure to join my Discord server for support and I will try my best to help you guys out. And of course just join for a general amazing Harry Potter community. And I think we did just hit 1,600 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. We have just reached 600 subscribers in the past month, which is amazing. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And so, without further ado, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.